this is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at this nice site called Playground AI. Okay, so here you can actually create images uh, using stable diffusion, right? There are also other models uh, and you can create 1000 images per day. You can also use these images commercially. So for this, what you need to do is that first you need to create an account uh, at playgroundai.com. Okay. So once you create an account, you can actually browse through the images. Okay. So for example, these were the images which are present over here, right? So here, uh, if you were to select a particular image, you can see what was the prompt. Okay. Which generated this image what was removed from the prompt, okay? And then you also see what was the seed, what was the model and other things, okay? So you can also generate images like this. So let's see how you can generate images like this, okay? So actually I've generated a lot of images already. Um, say for example, we want to generate an image of oil painting of Taj Mahal with dark black night sky, okay? And I don't want duplicates to be present in this image. So sometimes duplicates are possible. Okay. And um, I can also create filters. There are different styles over here for um, the filters for the images. Right. So probably let me see what happens if I choose lush illumination over here as a filter. I will use this particular image of Taj Mahal. Okay. I'll upload the image as an inspiration. Right. And then uh, over here, you can also do in painting, right? But this is not an in painting scenario. Over here, you can actually choose the different models. If you were to choose DALI, then you need to have some kind of a membership, okay? But if you don't have DALI or something, you want to make use of say stable diffusion models, then you have stable diffusion 1.5 and stable diffusion 2.1. You can choose the resolution of the output image. Let me choose 1024 by 1024. Okay. Then there are some prompt guidance parameters. Uh, okay. Higher guidance will make your image closer to your prompt, but the recommended settings were 7 to 10 over here. Uh, some uh, thing about uh, the number of steps. Okay. More steps will result in a higher quality, but it may take longer. Maybe we'll try with 100 steps uh, to st uh, maybe we'll try with uh, less number of steps to start with maybe 25. Okay. And then a seed, probably I will create 100 as a seed over here, right? Number of image which needs to be generated is one. And then uh, this is a private session. Okay. Um, so let's now generate. Okay. Let's see how much time it takes. Uh, it takes around, let's wait for it. Seven seconds, eight seconds. Yeah, eight seconds. Um, so this was the image which was generated. Okay. Um, using the other image as an inspiration image. Looks quite okay. I was expecting dark black night sky, but it is still, um, you know, showing it as blue. Uh, maybe we'll change the parameters and see what kind of images are getting generated. I will increase this to say 50. Right. Uh, then, uh, and then I will also maybe reduce the, uh, this thing. I'll go for a 512 uh, cross 512 image. And um, yeah, maybe I will remove blue sky. Let's see what happens as a negative this thing. And let me now generate. Let's see what kind of images getting generated. Takes probably, yeah, six seconds, right? Uh, I like this image slightly better compared to the previous image. Uh, you can see some kind of stars or uh, this thing. Right. Uh, still not the dark black sky, which I was expecting as a background over here. Maybe if I add dark black nice as background, I don't know. Let's see what gets generated over here with everything else remaining the same. Mm, yeah, still being generated. Okay taking a lot more time this time. I really don't know why. Because my expectation was that it should have been done in, uh, done in close to 8 seconds. Oh, it was just 50, right? Yes.
I'll cancel it. I think there is some issue. Shouldn't take that much time. Maybe I'll run it again. Let's see. For some reason it is taking a lot more time now. I will cancel it again. Maybe I will change the model. Now let me generate. This was much faster. Slightly different image than what I had expected. But then yeah. Uh, yeah, the black background is there. Nice. Mm, but this is more like a yeah, slightly different image than what I had expected. Compare it to this thing. Maybe we'll let's go back to stable diffusion 1.5 and see if we can generate this image. Hmm. Yeah, this image looks much better because the filter I had applied was none over here. Okay, I thought I had applied this. Uh, Okay, that was for the previous this thing. Let's apply lush illumination and see what gets generated. Yeah, this is quite nice. I like this picture. Yeah, so depending upon the prompt, the settings, you might get very good images. Sometimes you may not get good images. Um, so I had experimented with some other prompts as well. Uh, yeah, some of them works out well. Some of them does not work out well. For example, one of the this thing. Actually here I was, the prompt was oil painting of a tiger chasing a deer in a lush grass forest. But I only see the tiger over here. Right. And then if you go downwards, I also have some other prompts over here. Uh, sometimes, yeah, totally it just gives out some other image because I said oil painting depicting a scene from the Mahabharata where Lord Krishna is advising Arjuna. Yeah, it gives some nonsense image over here. Nothing related to that. Okay, this was a this thing where I said souvenir glass dome containing Taj Mahal during the night. Yeah, it is not giving anything related to that. All right. So, but uh, there were some good images uh, where I wanted to try out something. Mm, this was whether I wanted to see whether it create it can create a YouTube thumbnail for a video on stable diffusion. It just gave something. Uh, again, this was about uh, YouTube thumbnail for a video on playgroundai.com highlighting image generation capacity capabilities. Okay. Yeah, so some playground or something. Okay. So, but uh, there were some quite good ones which I liked basically. Let me see. Yeah, this was one good one. Okay. Where I was uh, talking about a souvenir glass dome representing windmill, small kid uh, kids figurines playing, wearing Netherlands traditional dress. Um, Gouda cheese. Okay, so this was the one which was generated. So this looks quite good. So it entirely this is also quite good, uh, which was again a souvenir glass. Uh, uh, this thing uh, representing small kid wearing Netherlands traditional dress. Gouda a little bit of change in the prompt. Another one. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, with slightly different setting changes in the what you call prompt uh, in the models. Okay. Um, so some of these figures were really good, which got generated uh, from this thing, right? Uh, this was an initial one where I said Swiss laws with cows within a glass dome as a souvenir. Okay, so everything depends on the prompt because if you look at the playground over here, people have come up with uh, really amazing images. I like this image a lot. Okay, uh, some of the images which get generated are really, you know, very good over here. So everything depends on the prompt. It's more about learning how can we put uh, very good prompts, right? And what kind of negative things we need to remove the prompt. So it is the quality of images generated is fully dependent on these prompts and the kind of settings you play around with the guidance scale and the model. Okay. So this was a quick look at uh, playgroundai.com, uh, a site where you can create a uh, images and as I said it is free for everyone you can create thousand images per day you can also use these images commercially they also have pricing plans where you have access to say DALI images right um, so there is this DALI 2 add-on uh, which is dollar 10 per month and where you can get images from DALI 2 model as well 
okay so you can go uh, create an account on playgroundai.com check out their uh, you know images over there and you can create images for your commercial use as well right you get 1000 images per day i hope you like this video if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video bye